Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we will learn how to plot and visualize scatter plots and also learn how to do what we call them bubble charts. So let me show you how we can do this. What I'm going to do here is on the right hand side, you will see there is a scatter chart or scatter plot. I can simply go ahead and just click on it. And the scatter chart simply is going to grab every X and Y coordinate and then it's going to put a dot or a circle for each of these X and Y coordinates. So for example, what I would like to visualize right now is I would like to visualize the GDP per capita versus the happiness score. So I'm going to grab the GDP per capita and put it here on the X axis. And then I'm going to grab the score and put it here on the Y axis. And what you notice right now is that you know there is only one circle, one dot. To overcome this issue, you need to go here on the arrow pointing downwards and just say, don't summarize. Because simply right now, the Power BI automatically obtain the sum or the overall summation of the uh, happiness score. And now I would like to say, just please don't summarize it for me. And here we go. Now you can see a nice scatter plot between the GDP per capita and between the happiness score. And you can see kind of a nice trend, a nice correlation between them. As the GDP per capita tend to increase, you will find the happiness score tend to increase as well, which makes sense as countries become richer, maybe their people tend to be maybe happier. Of course, that's not the only reason, but that's one of the reasons. Okay, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to um, visualize or plot the overall rank, and I would like to visualize the overall rank as the size of the bubble. So basically what I did right now is a simple scatter plot. What I would like to do next is I would like to visualize or plot what we call it bubble charts. So bubble charts, the size of the bubble actually differs based on another variable. Think of it as now I'm adding a third dimension to my plot. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to say, well, you can see a size field here. So now I can go ahead and add an additional basically um, feature and I can put it here in the size. And this feature is going to be my overall rank. So I'm gonna grab the overall rank, put it here on the size, and here we go. Now you can see three fields, three parameters displayed on one plot or on one graph. That is going to be GDP per capita versus the score. And I also have the overall rank. And you can see that here, these countries tend to have higher rank when it comes to their happiness. And here they have lower rank when it comes to their happiness. What I could do next is I can go ahead and play around with the colors. So I can go down here to format your visual. You can go to markers and then you can see that here I have the type. So I can select, for example, square. I can select maybe like um, diamonds, for example. I can select triangles. Let's keep the circles. And you can see there is color here. And what you could do is that you can say color by category. So if you select color by category, now you can see a nice, basically, colors for each of the categories or classes or for each of the countries. So if you hover on top of it right now, you can see the GDP per capita for a given country. You can see the score as well of a given country. You can see the overall rank as well of that country or region, which is pretty powerful. Okay, what I would like to do next is I would like to adjust the title of my uh, scatter plot. And I just wanted to make it, let's say here, GDP per capita versus score. To do that, I'm going to go to general. I'm going, I'm gonna say format my visual first, and then I'm gonna go to general. I'm gonna go to title, and then I'm going to say, please display GDP per capita versus score. Okay. And that will be the title here for my uh, scatter plot or for my bubble chart. And what I would like to do next, finally, and that is going to be adding a tooltip. Basically, what you see here is if you hover on top of this plot here, yes, you will see the three parameters that I was able to display on that chart. But there is one big thing that is missing, which is the name of the country, right? And that's what I would like to add here. So if you go back to visual, and if you go back to the add data to your visual, you will find that there is a tooltip region here or field. I can, if I go I get and grab the country or region and place it as one of the tooltips, here we go. 
Now, if you hover on top of it, now you can actually see the country as well. For example, Germany has a GDP per capita of 1.37, has a score or happiness score of 6.99. You can also see the rank as well on the happiness kind of list of 17. You can also grab, go up here, for example, and then you can see one of the top countries, and that would be Finland, sum of overall score of one, the score of 7.77, and the GDP per capita stands at 1.34. You can go here, for example, to some of the other countries, Zimbabwe, for example, has an overall rank of 146, score of 3.66, and sum of GDP per capita at 0.37. And that's it. That's simply all I have for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next lesson.